If you haven't heard of MLBB, it stands for My Lips But Better, which come in nude hues. They enhance the natural color of your lips and they're a great go-to for everyday use. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys my 10 favorite MLBB lip products and colors. The first item is the Tracy E. Mood Recipe Matte Lipstick number 114, Cold Rose. This is a collection from last year's fall season. It's a nude beige with peachy undertones and has a matte finish. The texture is a little bit creamy, which makes it easier to glide on the lips. It can be a little bit dry sometimes, so I usually like to moisturize my lips before using it. I like to exfoliate my lips 2 or 3 times a week to avoid cracky skin. If you apply this lipstick on moisturized lips, it will look more stunning. I think this color is more suitable for you guys who have plumpy lips and I don't think it will look as nice on people who have thinner lips. The next item is also from the same collection. This is a matte lipstick number 116 called Ink Heart. This lipstick has a similar nude beige tone but it's slightly darker and more red. This is definitely a color that I would go for when it comes to the fall season. The previous color is not bad but I prefer to go with darker colors more often than the pale ones. This also depends on the products you use together for your eye makeup and also your choice of clothing. Next item is the Butter Lip Crayon from Caramel, color number 19. It's a double head cushion pencil cream based lipstick that imparts bright full color with a soft and supple shine. This lipstick goes on very nice and creamy. The color is highly pigmented and it lasts a long time. It's a very pretty and natural nude with slightly rosy pink shades. It looks very natural and flatters my skin tone very well. The next lipstick is also from Tracy E. I'm not a huge fan of Tracy E brand for the other items, but I really love their lip products, and one of the main reasons is because of their packaging design. This lipstick is called Glow Jam Stick, and it's designed in a triangular shape. Although the design is really cute, it's a little difficult to apply without getting out of the lip lines. It's creamy and has a gel-like texture and slightly sticky. If you want to try something other than matte lipsticks that provides long-lasting effect, you can try this one. It provides a dewy shine finish, and it's very pigmented. You know how I saw it, it's like a The next item is Cream Paint Light Fit from Moonshot. This is M812 Coke Vintage Dress. It's a nude beige with a slight hint of coral. It's very pigmented, it can be used for both lip and cheek, and the texture is very thick and creamy, but it does not feel sticky. I did a review about this product before. These two are my favorite colors out of all of the colors that they have in the collections, but I like this shade more. This color is number M811 Coke Nudie Branch. It's a darker brown shade. It feels moisturizing, it did not settle into a matte finish. Also, it feels weightless and the finishing effect feels smooth and powdery. Next is a satin lipstick from MAC Coat 4. It's a mauve pink color lipstick with a satin finish. I'm not really a fan of MAC lip products, especially their matte lipsticks because the scent is a bit overwhelming for me. However, this is an exception since the color looks really pretty and natural, it also brightens up my skin tone. It has a creamy texture and the finishing feels really nice on the lips, it doesn't feel sticky at all. And I think this will look good in almost every skin tone color. Next, this item is Lippy Sticks from Colourpop called Drop Top. 
The color is a mid-tone peach nude and it looks very similar to the cream paint light fit number M812 but with a satin finish. The design of the product makes it very easy to control, it glides on effortlessly and it feels really smooth. It's buildable although it's not very long lasting but for the price, I think this is a nice deal. The next item is Stay Fit Matte Lip Color from Pony Effect. It's a matte liquid lipstick. This feels creamy and although it has a matte finish, the finishing look doesn't look dry at all. It's not sticky as well and it feels just right. Unlike most matte lipsticks, which tend to leave your lips with a lot of lines, this product doesn't cause that problem. It leaves everything clean and smooth and it's very long lasting. The lipstick looks best with just one or two coats and it's not that buildable. If you layer multiple coats, your lips will end up looking cakey. Since the color is a pretty brown shade, I think this will look good on most skin tones. Next is the Ultra Matte Lip from ColourPop called Instigator. This is also a matte liquid lipstick, it's in nude peach color. The texture is thicker and it's much more creamier than the Pony FX one. I usually like to apply a bit of lip balm first before I apply this because the finishing is a little bit too dry for me. The lipstick is very pigmented and buildable, I only need to retouch it after I eat. And out of all of the nude color lipsticks that I have from ColourPop, this color is my favorite. I think it goes well with my skin tone the best. The last one is called Airplane Mood. It's a light peach shade with yellow undertones. I don't always look good with pale colors, but I think this color suits me very well even with just a natural makeup on. However, I don't think this will match those with darker skin tone. And this is also one of my favorite color from Ultra Matte Lip, but subtly ColourPop has discontinued this item. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and I will see you guys again on my next video.